this is my man cave, let's call it like this. This is my workshop for mostly for wood and also for uh, steel and for metal works. And today I want to show you guys something really interesting because we find two speakers in some kind of old uh, German building. In the past is some kind of communist uh, school or communist cinema, I don't know, building for uh, communist translations and uh, and this building actually is also worked in a past like a sensor and censorship for the incoming movies and this is the place where the communist party leaders they checked all the movies if it's good for the television or not. From that we have only two pieces, this is what I can save only. By the way, now the project is running like a Metropole Park. Uh, the link uh, will be here in the description. What we will do now, I have this speaker which is contain nine piece of speaker inside and we will build inside a kind of amplifier what I find also in a garbage. Somebody dropped out this ESI NAIR05 kind of uh, monitor speaker. Of course I drop also the the box and the speaker, this is a really garbage, but I find this amplifier section, it's a really nice toy. So the low frequency amp is 40 watt, the high frequency amp is 30 watt. I think this amount of power will be enough to, to drive these kind of speakers. Wow, wow, look at this. Oh my gosh, nine speaker. Oh, look at this. We, we find those speakers in some kind of website here in Germany and it's freaking freaking expensive. It's like 150 euro per each for one of these drivers and no, we have from that one, two, three, four, five, six. This three speaker is arranged to some kind of angle like 20 degree. The middle section, this three speaker is arranged perpendicular to the box but this three is again uh, directed the sound to, to the negative 20 degree or yeah this is about 20 degree. So the box itself it's a really interesting arrangement and I think this will be really good into my studio to check like uh, the sounds like how it sounds on PA system because you know guys on a PA system all the sound is going to everywhere. Definitely you need something into your studio to check your mixes on some kind of PA solution, not on highest high-end level of monitoring. Just make sure your songs, it sounds good in a club. This will be my PA check <laughs> speaker in my studio. I hope will work really nicely. <laughs> They're not play with shit, eh? This is like uh, two kilograms of metal with a really tiny, tiny, tiny bit of uh, hose, but I'm telling you guys the finish of this metal grid is amazing. I, I really like it. Yeah, this is also repaired <laughs> by this communist technical guy, I, I can see already. He totally lost himself <laughs> how to manage it. Let me show you the magic. So here somewhere, is the magic with the washing machine <laughs> capacitor. <laughs> oh. So this is how they solved in the past to, to transfer the audio from the, let's, let's say relatively big distance. So then they used the, a transformer in an amplifier to transform uh, the, the sound level to high voltage low current and then it's arrived to here and from that this transformer did like a back transforming so low voltage high current with washing machine <laughs> capacitor. <laughs> Guys this is 8 microfarad but on 250 volt AC. Ah, it's a unbelievable. <laughs> This is definitely not the best for do uh, crossover because this kind of capacitors it has a so huge on impedance also like a coil because of the number of the, of the turns. So the height of this speaker is 121. <laughs> nice. And 
Ugh. So now we check one by one all the speakers because it can be fucked up. Only the high frequency speakers are eight ohms. The rest is kind of five ohm. And the, the name of it, KSP130K and 5 ohm and is made in Berlin in a DDR. So it's absolutely communist <laughs> speaker, but that sounds nice. And what you find on a forum, it's like they build from that some kind of monitor speaker yeah, yeah, from one piece. only alone to drive only the, the coaxial uh, uh, speaker. So now we are in a luxury. So this is the 70s XLR connector. I don't know, you guys see it, but this is amazing machining works, what they put on it, like uh, thread in outside, thread here, and uh, absolutely amazing kind of construction. I rather I like it. Absolutely amazing kind of engineering in that time. Maybe you can see, but each connector, it's have some kind of small spring inside to make sure your connector is contacting with that. And the whole <coughs> construction is metal everywhere. Metal, just of course, uh, the isolation here is some kind of buckle it. So 10 and a half, it's exactly where I have this crack here, good. No, ten and a half, six, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, matching. Okay, now the time is to take out the transformer. Heavy German tool with German precision. <laughs> Guys, if somebody need a sound transformer from the 70s, just PM me, yeah, on YouTube. I will send you this. <laughs> I have two from that. This will be the place where the amplifier section will be come in. Twenty one point eight millimeter, I don't know in inch. The width is like thirteen point three. So we have to cut at least let's measure from here. At least one centimeter less. 3.6 is here. Okay. So this will be area which is coming out. Not this, this. This is how it's going in. Ta -da! <laughs> it's it's fit. Uh, we have to cut from this uh, piece of grill to here and to here. Uh, seven. This. And uh, here.
Here is my plan for this really crazy speaker. Six uh, low mid driver and three high frequency driver. And the high frequency drivers are eight ohm, but the low frequency drivers are five ohm. And to make something, 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 something similar, it's meaning uh, I, I did like serial, the two eight ohm, then it came 16 ohm which is the high frequency speakers. But the middle one I connected to parallel with this 16 ohm. And as you see on, on the beginning, it's not actually eight ohm. So it's about uh, 5.6 or something like this. And it's meaning on the end here we will get about uh, like nine ohm, nine and a half, something like this. On the low end frequencies, I connected three 5 ohm in series, three 5 ohm in series, and then I connected them together in parallel. So it's meaning here we will get about 7.5 ohm, which is really close to the 8 ohm to, to drive uh, via this uh, amplifier. And because of uh, this and its uh, higher impedance than the low end, of course, we have on this amplifier on this side 30 watt and on this side we have 40 watt. So here on the end we will get about 27, something like this, and here we will get the original 40 watt on 8 ohm. As I told you guys, I tried the other one, I built the other one exactly on the same way, and it sounds fantastic. Yeah, on, on his own <laughs> quality level from the 70s, don't forget. Here is the last moment of the speaker modification. Maybe you can see inside the amplifier. In this amplifier, the high frequencies are running on 180 degree phase. I think because of the original speaker from the ESI. By the way, it also can be because of the of the crossover section inside in this uh, amplifier, it can be uh, like phase rotation also. So at the first moment, we just will listen like this. And last, uh, last moment is just fix the speaker, the middle section. I don't know guys what you see, but what I see now it's a really nice old 70s style uh, line array. <laughs> At the end, these monitor speakers, of course it's running on balanced input. It's tugged. Clean it up a bit. Brand new now, it can go to the medium mark. <laughs> I thought this will be much more harder to put back, but fortunately, it looks to me much more easier. Oh, guys, it's like uh, 40 kilogram. Let me show the beauty of the back. Ta-da! This is how it looks after the cleaning. So let's turn it on. YouTube, this is not a stalling of the song, yeah? This song I already purchased for any kind of purposes. Yeah! Let me tell you guys, it sounds actually better than I <laughs> thought. Low end and the mid low, yeah, it's really nice. It's like really tied. Yeah, of course the high, uh, top high like uh, from 16 kilohertz, something like this is totally disappeared. It's missing because the paper uh, drivers. I think it's a piece of beauty nine piece of speaker and uh, yeah it's cost nothing turn to the back here is the amplifier built it in here is the wind hose and i find this one bob marley absolutely sounds fantastic on this this speaker somehow is really translating to you really well 
if the master compression is so big and so huge, for example, David Guetta is doing that kind of compression. Let's play Bob Marley. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I'm working here almost alone because Paul is handling the camera and he also has some kind of tool and he told me I have to fix his tool. So here is the tool, what he used all the day. So this I have to fix because I was the stupid, I pushed in this plastic pin or what is this, I don't know. So now we have to fix this hole on the best way, like this. Yeah, almost. Yeah. Ta da! Fixed. <laughs> this is how you can fix the barrel of bags. <laughs>